Human Rights Watch believes there are 48 Papuans and 70 Malukans currently behind bars in Indonesia who are non-violent pro-independence activists. The Human Rights Group has just released a report profiling the cases of 10 of the men. In 2007, Philip Karma was sentenced to 15 years jail for treason after organising a flag-raising ceremony in Papua. Speaking from his prison cell in Abapura Prison in Jayapura, the 51-year-old said he'd been attacked by prison officers. He says the beatings usually begin as soon as inmates arrive at the jail because the guards want to show who's in charge. In the past few years, Philip Karma's health has deteriorated. He has serious prostate problems. Phil Robertson, the Deputy Director of the Asia Division of Human Rights Watch, says prison officials have been refusing to allow the father of two to have an operation in hospital. Originally he was uh, not referred to uh, doctors. Finally he was allowed to see a doctor in Papua who examined him and said, look, we can't treat this here. It needs to be sent to Jakarta. He needs to be sent to a special hospital in Jakarta. There's been a runaround. Uh, it's been two years of back and forth. Who's going to pay? Does he really need it? Another prisoner, Johan Tedereza, has had his life sentence reduced to 15 years. The schoolteacher's crime was to lead a group of dancers who held up the flag for the Independent Republic of South Moluccas in front of the Indonesian president. Phil Robertson says Mr. Tedereza needs medical help. He was also savagely beaten uh, for a period of uh, 11 days after his arrest, uh, with torture happening from between 8 to 12 hours a day. Uh, and he's still suffering the effects of that. Uh, he has said he can't sleep on his side. He has very significant problems related to the broken ribs and other injuries he suffered. Another man featured in the report, Ferdinand Puckergay, says he lost sight in his right eye after he was beaten by three prison guards. The Indonesian Foreign Ministry spokesman, Teku Faiza Shah, said the prisoners have many avenues of complaint. They can contact police or their lawyers. Teku Faiza Shah says he isn't comfortable with the term political prisoner because these men engaged in unruly behaviour with disregard for law and order. He believes the punishments handed out are not harsh. Phil Robertson says if Indonesia wants to prove to the world it's a democracy, it must stop criminalising non-violent political speech. Indonesia says that it wants to be a champion of human rights and democracy in Southeast Asia, and we applaud that. Uh, we applaud the progress they've made. But they need to also take up the issue of these political prisoners. Uh, they can't be forgotten, they cannot be left aside. Human Rights Watch says prison bosses recently indicated they might let Philip Karma go to hospital. Mr Karma told the ABC it's unfair he's in prison for raising the Morning Star flag. He says in Jakarta people often put a photograph of the Indonesian president on a buffalo's backside during demonstrations and nothing happens to them. Philip Karma has 10 more years of his sentence to serve.